Millions of Volkswagen cars are vulnerable to a hack, and apparently so is that Airgap PC. Plus, several hotels in the U.S. get their credit card data stolen. All that coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, I'm Shannon Morse, and this is ThreatWire for August 16, 2016, your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get these shows before anyone else, and also make sure to check out our Patreon to see how you can help the show grow. Patreon.com slash ThreatWire is the place for that. Now on to the news. First off with Volkswagen. Uh, Volkswagen vehicles are at the forefront of a research paper published by a University of Birmingham team explaining how the keyless entry systems used on millions of cars can be easily manipulated to gain access without the actual key fob. Nearly 100 million cars are vulnerable to this hack, allowing a thief to wirelessly unlock tons of vehicles that Volkswagen has sold for the past, get this, two decades because apparently they've been using the same keys on two decades worth of cars. This includes Audi, Skoda, Alfa Romero, Citroen, Fiat, Ford, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Opel, and Peugeot. Uh, so I apparently probably pronounced a few of those wrong. I'm not really a car person, so sorry. <laughs> the hack requires a thief to clone the key fob's radio signals and transmit them with an inexpensive Arduino and a few pieces of radio equipment, totaling a whole $40. The researchers found two vulnerabilities. The first one requires the thief to clone a cryptographic key that is transmitted over radio and is the same key shared across millions of Volkswagen vehicles. Then they would have to also intercept a special code that matches up to the specific target vehicle. But this key is the same every time a driver presses their key fob button. Now you combine the two keys and voila, you gain access. So far the exact information on the interception technique has not been publicized. The second vulnerability uses a cryptographic technique called High Tag 2, which requires rolling codes to work. A key fob sends a car a different code each and every time the fob is pressed, but if that key fob is blocked from transmitting by an attacker, the attacker could then collect a bunch of the unused keys and then reuse them on the car. Now, High Tag 2 is not secure, as once a few codes are collected, the rest can be figured out. The company that sells chips using HiTag2 has been recommending car manufacturers not use this algorithm since 2009 due to its vulnerable crypto. Now, currently driving off with the car itself is not possible with these hacks, but obviously somebody could steal it by towing it away after sticking it in neutral. That would definitely work. Electronic hacks are becoming a more and more common way to steal valuables from inside the cars. I even talked to a cop at DEF CON in person who has had this happening in his town, so he was at DEF CON learning about radio hacks. And so far, the best suggestion is not to leave valuables in your car and use mechanical keys instead and hopefully you have that option. Otherwise, auto manufacturers need to use better algorithms for their key fobs now to prevent theft that is currently happening. At least 20 US hotels run by HEI Hotels and Resorts have had customer payment card data stolen in a breach. These include Marriott, Hyatt, Renaissance, Intercontinental, and Starwood hotels like Le Meridian, Sheraton, and Westin, just to name a few. Several thousand transactions happened on in-person point-of-sale terminals while they had malware loaded onto them, allowing for data to be stolen, all the way from March 1st, 2015 through June 21st, 2016. The full data stolen could include names, credit cards, expiration dates, and CVVs, the verification codes. Now, HEI Hotels and Resorts posted a notice and states that the incident is already contained and the point of sale terminals are in the process of being moved to a separate network. Also, the malware is no longer in existence on those machines. Now, for customers, they recommend checking credit card transactions and they also posted identity theft information. Okay, let's talk about something weird here. Even Air gap machines could be susceptible to a hack because of the noise that their hard drives make. It's so weird. So when a hard drive is accessed, the arm, which is called the actuator, allows for reading and writing of data. And as it moves, it also generates sound, and that sound could potentially transfer sensitive data to a microphone or a nearby smartphone for recording and analysis. 
researchers from Ben Gurion University published a paper describing the vulnerability called disk filtration and how it works. So in this specific scenario, malware would need to be installed on the AirGap machine. So its use case scenario is actually kind of minimal. A person would need to be very close to the target computer to have this work. Now to keep your own AirGap machine from being owned, researchers recommend using solid state drives or sound muffling enclosures for the hard disk drives instead. Thank you again to all of the fine people who contribute to patreon.com slash threatwire. You guys are the reason that we keep bringing this show to you with news every single week. Any little bit helps us to grow the show and in return we are going to build an RSS for you and when we reach our next goal we will also bring on another episode every single week. We might even feature your fur baby in an episode upcoming on youtube.com slash hack5. So check out those perk levels on Patreon and thank you again for helping us keep this coming completely independent and ad free. Of course, if you cannot donate, you can hit the subscribe button, which is right down there, or you can share this episode on your favorite social media page. Everything honestly really does help to get the word out. And we think this news is so important for everyone. You can use the hashtag threatwire so that we can see all of your updates. And with that, I am Shannon Morse, and I will see you on the internet.